don't realize that the English word translates has a lot of ancient definitions to it. Okay. So, if so, we'll talk more about that in talking about letters and understanding characters, mm. because that's exactly what we're talking about. This is very interesting that you said that. Yeah. Okay, but I just wanted to kind of go back to what that term character looks like, and um, you know, so I give you some uh, some references for that. Yes. Uh, because we need we need okay. A lot of us don't understand that the English term language, the English language, and all those other languages. This is a mesh language. Yeah. Right. Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So what you're dealing with is a lot of different things that try to explain or communicate. Right. That's why we got one word that means twenty five different things. Right. It's very, very, very confusing elements. Of yeah. Exactly. English language. One of the most yes. confusing languages to learn. Yes. But. A lot of people don't understand the term of character, so I just wanted to point that out yes. uh, before we get started. Because symbolism has a lot to do with that very word. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, okay. we've kind of talked a little bit about, like, the power of... So, I mean, it all goes to iconography, which is really, you know, uh, uh, how you would express, like, the earliest ideas. Like, passing along universal concepts or ideologies to to people sometimes even outside of your culture and that's that's the importance of what iconography really does how it's grown in this collective thing we look at symbols that are thousands of years old and they still elicit uh a, a response you know i got one thing i wanted to look at right okay because we we talked a lot about 